Hello people and welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Jaslyn and today I'm going to be doing a book review on Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. I finished this book in, not kidding with you, like two, three days and that's how I know a book is good because I've been thinking about this book every day since I finished it and usually when I read a book I just forget about what happens to be completely honest with you because it's just like okay that was a really fun story let's go on to the next one but no I've been thinking about this book since I stopped reading it even so that I bought another Kennedy Ryan book which is Long Shot which I know this one is very very emotional and very heavy as well because this one was too so I thought I would just come on here and chat a little bit about this book I think everyone should read it now I do you should check the trigger warnings in here. There's a trigger warning for child loss, unaliving oneself, like thoughts of unaliving oneself, things like that. So make sure you do check trigger warnings if you are interested in this book because it is heavy in those type kind of topics. This book is a second chance romance with our two main characters, Jasmine and Josiah. They were seen as like couple goals. They were tri they were college sweethearts and they got married, had two kids. Like they were living the life. They have their own business together. Like they were like the ultimate black love power couple no one can stop us let's do what we do let's get this money we are them like that's who they were in this book and they go through a really really big loss like back to back and that kind of is what is the catalyst for them getting a divorce um at the start of the book they already have been divorced for about two years and then we see as the book goes on why they got the divorce and then how they come back together because I think it was a very 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 realistic example couple like a lot of couples a lot of marriages can end like this when you go through a big tragedy and you don't really know how to work through it how to get through your emotions and kind of communicate with your partner how you're really feeling what i really appreciated in this book is that we see how these two different characters handle going through these emotions yasmin is very like she's stuck in her feelings she doesn't know how to get out of them she battles major depression after she loses her child henry and then she also loses her mother figure which was josiah's grandmother and she is just really stuck in her sadness she can't find any motivation to get up out of bed like the only thing that's making her get up and like do stuff is her children her other two children uh kasim and deja like those are her only reasons for getting out of the bed in the morning is her children like if she didn't have them she would have not done anything and we really see her go through that in the book Whereas Josiah, which I do see myself in Josiah as well, when he went through this big change of losing his son, he was like, okay, well, I have to hold everything together. I have to keep, you know, running this business. I have to keep putting food on the table and making money for my family because this big thing, like, I cannot stop and feel all these emotions. I have to just keep working. I have to just keep going. I cannot stop. And that is what Josiah was feeling. And with these two very different ways of feeling and dealing with their emotions, that is really what made them break up and get divorced because they couldn't see each other's ways of like well that's not how i'm grieving so why are you grieving like that you should be grieving like me like and that's kind of what was the downfall of the relationship um another thing that i really appreciated about this book is the therapy representation yasmin went to therapy after this big event in her life happened and it really helped her figure out how to get through her emotions and some mechanisms that we see her use throughout the book. And it is just very oh, eye-opening because I just started going to therapy about two years ago. And it is a very, very healing and very welcoming space because I'm the type of person I don't like talking about my feelings to family or friends. I don't know, I just it just feels weird to me. I really just don't like doing that so having a therapist and having someone that doesn't really know me who is there to listen to what i'm going through and i don't feel any judgment i don't feel any like go to them like this is their job they're getting paid to do this it's not like i'm putting this on a loved one or someone that doesn't want to hear what i'm saying like this is what they're here for so i really enjoyed that representation as well and um josiah he does not believe in therapy he is very like typical a lot of men do not want to go to therapy they think it's not beneficial they think that it's not for them but in this case josiah goes to therapy because his son kasim i would say like emotionally stunted from the trauma that he's gone through as well in this family like he doesn't really understand why all this is happening why am i losing so many people in my family and his teacher recommends why don't you guys get kasim therapy and Josiah is like, okay, well, I want to lead a good um, example for my son, so I'm going to go to therapy for Kasim. And that is a really, really good decision for him because it opens his eyes to therapy. Like, there are so many moments in this book where he's like, okay, this is a really big situation. I'm really feeling these big emotions. Let me go talk to my therapist before I lash out and 
say something that I'm not supposed to say to Yasmin or to someone else in the book. And I feel like that was very good progress in Josiah as a character because he never went to therapy. He never wanted to go to therapy. Yasmin recommended it so many times. Hey, why don't we go to therapy? This could be helpful. And he's like, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. And now he's using those coping skills that he's learned in therapy to rekindle this relationship with Yasmin, which I think is very, very, very important. Um, I also did write some, down some stuff that I wanted to talk about. Also, just the friendship that Yasmin had. Her two friends, Hendrix and Soledad, are just really comedic relief and really the support she needs throughout this time. Going through this weird transition of divorcing Josiah, but also like, I still love this man, like I want to be with him, but how do I communicate those feelings? And these two women were her really big support system and she honestly doesn't know what she would have done if she did not have these two women in her life and i think that really shows the value of friendship when you're going through these really 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 big life transitions big things that you're having to figure out if you don't have a support system that makes it very very hard for you to figure out what you're gonna do so i just really enjoyed those characters and i know they i know soledad that's her next book that comes out in january which i'm definitely gonna read that because i really enjoyed her character i hope hendrix gets a book too because she was just really really funny and i really really liked her but yeah i just saw myself in a lot of these characters um because there were quotes in here where she was just talking about how she feels about her body because she she carried two three children um into this world and she really is just appreciative for her body, which I really, really did appreciate that those moments in the book. Obviously, I've never had children, but just the way that she appreciates her body and how she loves her body really helped me because I do have a lot of like body image um, insecurities that I, you know, everyone deals with. But I really appreciated that aspect in the book because I think that's helpful for moms too because a lot of moms go through that weird transition of like, my body will never be the same as it was before because I had children and seeing a woman who loves her body fully and truly for what it has done, what it will do was very, very appreciative. And how Josiah at the end of the book when they are together, he has this moment you know, after they, you know, do their thing, he's like, this body gave me children. This body is beautiful. This body, you know, has been with me every step of my life and I'm going to appreciate you for it. Not just because you had children. That doesn't make it ugly. That doesn't make it not beautiful. And I really enjoyed those moments in the book because it is a very spicy book. Don't get me wrong. There are spicy scenes. But it also had that emotional element, which I really, really enjoyed. I really like books. I've come to notice because this is my first book that is like this which is very emotional and not just like surface level. Oh, you're cute, let's hook up. Like it's very emotional. You see these characters grow and change throughout this book. And I really, really enjoyed it. I gave this book, five, this is like a six star read for me. I gave it five stars on like Storygraph, but this is definitely a six star read for me. Probably one of my favorite books of 2023. I just really, really loved it. Um, What else did I write down? Also the children, I think you see a lot of the different dynamics that girls and boys go through when they have these um big emotions that they're dealing with because the older girl deja i think she's i think she's like 14 or 13 years old she is very she's taking out her emotion on the divorce and on what has gone on in her life on her mother she is very like blaming her mom for everything that has happened like she's the reason that mom and dad got divorced she's the reason that xyz is happening and she's putting that blame on her mom but Yasmin is kind of like blindsided to like, well, why is she so mad at me? I haven't done anything wrong to her. I haven't done, you know, she's just a teenager. She's just acting out. She's just, she just doesn't understand what's going on. Where it's like, no, Deja is going through a big life transition. I have been Deja before. Like, I have been a teenage girl. I truly understand what she is feeling in this book with big things happening in her life and she is tr and she's blaming someone because she's like why did you do this why did you think this was a good idea and obviously deja doesn't understand the full length of what has happened to her mom and her mom has gone through so many life altering things that obviously deja doesn't really understand and have the full grasp because she's only 14 years old but then you have kasim who he's getting so much support like oh let's take him to therapy he's so smart he's the smartest kid in the class like he's doing so good nothing can affect him but then you're putting all this blame on deja like i don't like you didn't have to do that you should love and support your kids with whatever they're what is going on with them just because they're a teenager and they're having like a teenager phase and they're having an attitude they're going through something and i feel like if yasmin or josiah would have just flat out been like why are you feeling like this why are you being so resentful and so 
mean to your mom what is the real reason it's not just because you're acting out there has to be some real reason on why you're acting this way towards your mom and i think some parents just don't do that they just think that it's like another phase or it's just something that their kid will grow out of but when a child is acting like that there is a true and real reason um so i really i kind of see like myself in a lot of these characters honestly throughout the book um so that is something that I did want to talk about because I noticed that a lot in the book is like even her friends were like well Deja has gone through a lot you know you should be a little bit more understanding about what Deja's going through but Yasmin's like oh well she's just a teenage girl she'll get through it but it's like no she is going through a lot at this moment in her life like teenage years are very very formative and those are like one of the most important stages in your life is being a teenager in my opinion because it really molds you up for adulthood and what you're going to go through and if you're resenting your mom in your teenage years what will happen when you're an adult and you haven't worked through these emotions with your mom throughout the end of the book they do kind of come to an understanding and Yasmin realizes why that she why Deja puts so much resentment towards her and I feel like obviously we don't know what happens after the end but I feel like the trajectory that I was going they were you know leveling out they were understanding each other and they really understood why each other felt like felt that way which I did enjoy another thing that I wanted to talk about with Josiah is when he decided to go to therapy as a good example for a son I think that really showed how a lot of people tend to do stuff for loved ones and family members that they ultimately need to do for themselves like he was like okay well I'm gonna go to therapy in order to show him that it's not scary that it is really beneficial and that it will be helpful for him but once he got into that first therapy session he was like wow this is very helpful like this is really really good for me I don't know why I waited so long to do this and I feel like when people start to do stuff for friends and family that they need to do for themselves, they kind of come to that realization like, whoa, I should do this for myself. Like, I don't need to always be caring for other people, taking care of other people, doing stuff for other people before I take care of myself. And I think that's what Josiah kind of realized. Like, he has to take care of a business. He has to take care of his two kids. He has to balance and understand this weird relationship with Yasmin. Like he wants to be with her still, but he's trying to move on because he thinks that's the right thing to do. Whereas first and foremost, he needs to take care of himself. He needs to figure out what is going on with himself before he can full-fledged get back with Yasmin and try to you know go into that relationship those are like the big takeaways i took from this book and i just really love their love story because they both tried to like move on with other people throughout the book but obviously that doesn't work out because these people were madly in love with each other like the chemistry they had was like you could feel it in the book how much chemistry and how much love they had for each other even when they were with other people in the book, they were like, this is not right. This is not what it felt like when I was with Yasmin or when I was with Josiah. And I know that's who I want to be with. And they and they fight for each other. They're like, okay, well, we can find a way to make this work. And it all comes to a head when they're like, their restaurant is in, I think it's in Atlanta. And they want to expand to Charlotte. And, you know, it was a common thing. They go to Charlotte, they go to the hotel, and it's like, oh, well, we only have one room, and the room only has one bed. Like, well, y'all are just going to have to sleep in the same hotel. Like, we, there's no other rooms available. Like, y'all are going to have to make do with what you have. So they get in there, and Josiah's like, okay, well, I'll just take the couch, and you can have the bed. Well, obviously, they had to have a little bit of alcohol, and they start talking, and they have this emotion, honestly, this really emotional conversation that kind of makes them realize, like, damn we are still very much in love with each other and you know they get it on they have a little um one night stand basically and they're like okay well this is only going to be friends with benefits this is all we're going to do we're not going to do anything else like you know we can we can make that work you know we haven't loved each other since college but we can make that work like what could go wrong obviously they fall harder and harder for each other and they end up getting back together like i've been saying in this video i really really enjoyed this book i really love how kennedy ryan is very real in this book it is not surface level it is very very emotional these characters go through a lot in this book and i really really enjoyed it i loved it um i love that it was black love because i have not read a lot of black love stories recently and this was just very refreshing and i really enjoyed it and i recommend it so yeah that is today's video it was kind of all over the place but i've been thinking about this book since i finished it like four days ago and i wanted to do a video on it so i highly recommend it make sure you check your trigger warnings and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys in my next one peace out Bye.